Okay, what I'm doing in this video is installing a Plex Media Player within Steam so that I can boot my system directly into Steam and also access my movies from there. So what we have to do first is install Plex. I've already gone ahead and downloaded it, but you can get it from the Plex.tv website. So I just double click to install. Follow the usual, follow the usual procedures. Just while that's going, I'll be running this on a HP N40L micro server that's connected via a HDMI to an Onkyo 515 receiver. On the Onkyo 515, I then go into the, it's a, sh a sharp 60 inch TV, which is what this is being displayed on at the moment. So I'll, I'll be outputting uh, audio and the, the true DTS HD for the, for the receiver to decode. This takes a little bit of time to finish so I'll just pause it okay now that that's finished it takes about uh, probably two minutes to get through the install this uh, win Windows 8 is what this is installed on I'll just find the file. Okay, sorry about that. Back to the list of programs. Now I just want to start, I've got the Plex Media Server installed, so now I'm going to start this uh, Plex for Home Theatre. It'll just do a uh, first time run through to set up the preferences. Later I'll be installing uh, XMap XMapper so that I can use an Xbox 360 remote control uh, as the controller. At the moment I just have a wireless keyboard and mouse. So it, 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 it detects automatically the HDMI. Okay, now it asks for a pen that we have to do at the website. So I'll do that separately and I'll just pause this again to enter the pen. Okay, that's very simple. I, I did it on another computer. You just log into your Plex account into the four digit pin and you're done. So we continue and this is pl uh, Plex. So my movies I can, br I can browse all the movies here uh, but for now I'm going to quit because I'm going to install it in Steam. But this will, this will be the, is the interface that anybody that uses Plex is well aware of. So now if I start Steam, I, I actually have Steam connected to another computer that, and I stream to this N40, so the other computer does all the grunt work. Uh, all I do is click down here, it says add a game, add a non-Steam game. It, gi it gives me the list and I just select the Plex player. Of course I always make sure I select Plex for home theater rather than the Plex server. Just And then just click add selected program and you're done. So now if I run Steam in big picture we can go to the Plex. This is all in alphabetical order, so once I run it for the first time, uh, it will appear in the recently played, so I won't have to scroll through. I'm sure there's probably a faster way. And we find the Plex just here, I just simply click on it. Yes, I want to play and Plex will begin and I can control it with my controller with the X mapper and that's it that's how you install Plex to run through Steam
the, the main advantage of this is to um, if you're booting your computer directly into Steam Boot Picture, you never have to use the desktop. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please uh, post in the box below.